Okay, so uh, the uh, the next big assignment is in animation. Uh, very, very, very simply, you're going to make a movie of at least 30 seconds long. Now, that might seem perhaps very short or very long. Now, it's going to depend as you start working on it. So the, there's going to be, of course, requirements and all of that, and, and we'll get to those. But before we get too far into requirements and such, let me show you a few more examples of previous students. Uh, various levels of experience and results. I'll show you a few of them here. So let's start on this first one. This one doesn't have sound. So just imagine some epic Star Wars music, I guess. That's it. That's all that needs to, to be done. This is around, uh, yeah, 30 seconds. And it starts off a story. It starts off, well, where's it going to go next? You don't have to have your whole epic done. You're not going to have enough time for your whole epic to be done. But we're going to cover these various things. Also, there's various scene changes. We'll be covering scenes, looking at a certain part for one moment, looking at another part. That's a scene. Simple walk cycle there. Simple character, but notice still, as it moves around, uh, the little hands, the eyes, gives it a sense of uh, somewhat realism. Then we've got the little cube thing talking, and uh, then the final reveal where we were on Earth all along to be continued. So with a little more music, it would then put it over the top, but it's a very good starting point for, uh, for the idea. Let's see over here. There's another one without sound. And so something's going to happen. Something's going to start from this. This is our teaser of what will happen. Now, um, <laughs> it could be polished up a little bit, sure. Uh, that's one of the challenges of doing animation about um, how do I convey what I've got in my mind. Obviously, in my mind, I know exactly what's happening. But how do I convey that to my audience? Uh, let me make a note right here. Uh, you see how the camera moves down into the scene or moves away. We'll be covering that as well using the camera tool to zoom into something, to zoom out, to move it around. Adobe Animate has some ability to use cameras. Now right here, notice that animation uh, jumping from one pose to another. Uh, if you're not uh, kind of thinking about this yet, as we practice it more, it'll be more useful that, OK, I have an idea how it's going to move. But you don't draw it perfectly, moving from one post to the other, unless you know you're 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 a genius. You usually will be uh, uh, like sketching it a little bit from pose to pose, and then filling in the details. So you see, there's the general sketch quality of it, and then on another layer, well, we add in the details. We'll look at that, and then um, motion tweens and such expressions. Okay, so that's one. Here's another one. Let me see right away. This is way too fast. Uh, are you able to keep up with what they're saying? No. Again, I am. again, in my mind, me creating it, I know exactly what they're saying. But when other people look at it, it's too fast. And then suddenly the end. OK, maybe. So again, playing it again. So playing it again, the. Playing it again, the text is way too fast. That's one of the things about um, uh, some advice is if, if you can read out loud what the text is supposed to be, if you can read it out loud a couple of times um, comfortably, then it is um, slow enough. All right now, I hate, we know, let's get it, oh, see, it's a little too fast. If I'm able to read myself my text, two times comfortably or in the speed that is expected of the animation, then it's long enough. 
Uh, oftentimes as beginners I see that that you write your text and you quickly move to the next thing because in your mind you hear it over and over and over you know exactly what they said us looking at it at the first time that's way too fast now, I love the the scenery and I, the characters and the funny ending and all of that but the thing that really distracts is okay it's not readable and it seems that text and the and, and the text in the speech is important so that should be slower <laughs> you go the universe is destroyed so um, then the text again obviously important but then a little too fast now also it'd be really fun to have some music in that or sound effects it would be good musical most of these almost any animation really helps when you have some sort of music or sound effects yes and we'll cover how to do that of course this one does have music turn up my volume That's it. Catches your attention. What's coming up next? A lot of effort into this. It's all black and white. Uh, good sense of pacing in terms of here's a scene what's happening I kind of get an idea of it and then oh I'm bored and then stuff happens so yeah it's uh, this I think this person had a lot of prior experience uh, the more you practice the more better you get at it and uh, that music while not incredibly flashy I think it fits well with with the project And so, like everything that came from um, the model sheet of, of the character, poses and expressions and everything. And then lastly... So definitely uh, expert use of music in it, and some comedy there. Uh, so that one, that one definitely, you've got this uh, soundtrack happening throughout the whole thing. You've got the sound effects of the clock and the timer. Uh, we're going to, uh, eventually when we talk about music, uh, we're going to look at uh, various music resources to get the perfect sound, the perfect sound effects for your projects. Because... Um, I don't have a sound of a clock. I can go download it. I'll show you where to download these sounds and such. And uh, again, just moving around, creating a scene and environment. This is a kitchen, and then the the big uh, um, the big uh, problem in the story and the cast and all of that. So you can be as um, you can be as uh, creative as you want, as detailed. And yeah, that was just you know that's a little that was a little bit more than thirty seconds, but. Minimum is going to be 30 seconds. The more you want, fine. You just have deadlines, of course. You'll probably have two weeks or so to work on uh, work that on project. It. What's that? Two weeks to work on it? Something around there. I have to check the calendar. But yeah, you're going to have more time on this because obviously Yay. this is more effort than just regular drawings. So that's um, those are some examples of previous students. And uh, no, they were not formed just magically out of the, the pen tablet. It took a lot of effort. And that's why the one of the assignments that's going to lead us into uh, doing the movie is the storyboard assignment. That's the one that's going to be due on Monday. Did everyone come back with their storyboard printout that I gave out? If you didn't, I can give you another one. Or you can also get a digital version uh, in the network folder. 
in our network folder, I put in there a file, storyboard do not edit. So if you'd like to do the storyboards uh, on paper, you could do that. Or if you'd like to do the storyboard in Adobe Animate, you could do that. Uh, you'll just need to print it out. Now I have an example here. Um, let me see, where did I put it? I've got an example of a possible storyboard. this I thought I had this okay here it is okay so here's an example of, of this of a storyboard uh, there it is so there's the idea for this movie and the idea of the storyboard is that in general well what happens in one shot in one view in one part of the movie you're not gonna need to draw every single part of the action of your movie you can use more than one sheet if you want, if it's helpful to you. But in the example here, okay, so the title of the movie will appear on the first shot of the movie. VO, voiceover, uh, music, voiceover. Uh, someone says, okay, the, someone says, Space Quest Part 3. The narrator says, Space Quest Part 3. There's music happening in the background, the main theme. Okay, then there's a scene. It's space, it's a planet. A uh, hero's ship comes into view toward the planet. So a little bit of a quick drawing about there's a planet, there's a ship, it's going to move toward. How I do it exactly? Well, that'll happen when we get into animate. And there's music that starts here that continues all the way over here. So these various shots, the same music. Music in the title, but a different music in this main action. Scene, horizon and ruins. Hero's ship lands, she gets out, walks toward. Next scene, long corridor, hero walks toward the light. So again, the details, well, how does, how does the character get from the ship to the, to the ruins? We will get to that when we start to animate. But the idea is, I want to create a scene where the ship lands. I want to create the ruins in the, in the distance. And then I want to create a shot where the hero is walking towards the ruins. Scene, space gem chamber. Hero, in profile, reaches toward the gem. Okay, so the music is there, the character reaching over. I'm going to animate the hand moving or the body moving or something. I'll get to those details later. And then next shot, POV, point of view. Full frontal hero, happy, reaches toward gem, music, suspense. So I'm going to find a suspenseful music. Uh, and we're going to be able to get a whole bunch of different kinds of music. And so the character is reaching towards the gem, very happy. Point of view, full frontal, hero, unhappy, stops as creature reaches toward her. No music, growl, sound effect. So big old creature appears behind our character that was going to get the gem. The character appears behind and is going to get her. No music, growl, sound, final shot, to be continued, title, and voiceover. As the narrator says, to be continued, and music, back to the main music theme over here. And all of that, 30 seconds. 40 seconds, however you want it to be, but minimum going to be 30 seconds. So uh, this will be the first, uh, the next assignment that we're going to do. Uh, you've seen examples of the of the end result for people. Here's an example of storyboards. I forgot to bring other ones from other classes, but that's a general idea. So we're going to have lab time for you to work to start to do this, to start to put together this. And if you need more than one sheet, I've got more than one sheet. Uh, this is going to be due Monday. I'm going to put it on Canvas. I don't think I have it on Canvas. But I'm going to put this on Monday. It's going to be due Monday, 4 o'clock. Uh, it's going to be five points. Um, so you're going to work on that. If you came in a little late and you need tablets, uh, I'll give you tablets and such. Does that make sense? Any questions on what this next assignment can, is? Can you put that sample on yep. the drive so we can have it as a sample? Yes, let me put this example right now into the network folder. Into CS126. Call it storyboard example. 
All right, any other questions? We're going to cover, of course, well, how do I do a walk cycle? Or how do I do lip sync? Or how do I move the camera? We'll cover that, of course. But the thing is, before getting into the software and getting into the pen tool and all of that, we need an idea. And I believe oftentimes when you plan a little bit, uh, your ending result is a lot better. Even though you could just jump into Adobe Animate right now and start, you might run into a, a plot hole or you can't figure out what to do next. So with a little bit of pre-planning and a storyboard, it should be very helpful. So we'll have some lab time. If you need any help, call me over or Ben and we'll, we'll just work.